Hello everyone. I missed you guys. Uh, where's my earring? Okay, yeah, so I just wanted to get dressed up for the show and um, yeah, just want to have a chat with you because it's been a while since we've had a face-to-face -face chat like this and oh, I better plug in my mic. One second. Yep, so I'm back with my mic, so the sound quality should be a little bit better. But yeah, like there's been so much going on since we last chat. There's been, you know, riots all over the world. Um, you know, all this stuff happening in America with the Black Lives Matter and the riots happening there. We've had Brexit and, you know, loads of people not even knowing what the fuck was going on with that you know record numbers of numbers of people typing into google what is the eu um so yeah it's been pretty laughable for uh the um western empire at the moment we've kind of been the laughing stock of the world so that's a little bit embarrassing because i have quite a global community here on social media um and all the lovely people that i've met all over the world um so yeah, I kind of felt like, even though I don't, I don't really want to talk about it. Like, I kind of felt like I had a responsibility to make a video and kind of report from, you know, England, like what's going on here. And I know what some of you are probably thinking, oh, look at this basic bitch trollop with her stupid bindi. Is go she's going to try and talk about politics now? Um, what does she know about politics? Um, yeah, like, and I did actually have somebody say that to me recently. Um, look at you, you stupid trollop with that bindi on. Um, for your information, um, Miss Super Educated, um, this is a mang thicker, not a bindi. So anyway, now that we've got that out of the way. So when it comes to Brexit and um, also I want to talk about the the Black Lives Matter riots that are happening in America, but I don't want to talk about either of those two things in too much detail because I think too many people are getting concerned with like the nitty gritty details and not recognising the bigger picture that... Um, there is a bit of a race baiting agenda going on and they are, um, I'm not saying that necessarily everything is false flags. I'm just saying that like certain fires are being stoked, um, on different sides. So it's kind of getting everybody to be in this space where it's very like, it's pretty much divide and conquer. And so people are kind of getting into a space where they're feeling like they're having to take sides um and identify with their group with their cultural identity hence the mang thika um actually i just like it but like there would have been a time when maybe race relations were not so bad but i would have been afraid or embarrassed to wear this because it would have made me look too indian and marked me out and um indicated my failure to assimilate so a lot of that is kind of now going out the window as people are realizing that like it doesn't matter how much you try and assimilate you're still going to be your allegiance is going to be questioned because um it's not just a lack of ethnic diversity and ethnic uh and cultural representation that we lack um in america and england obviously there's different America has certain unique problems and England has certain unique problems and also different towns will have certain unique problems. I mean, I've never lived in America, so I can't comment. I've only lived in Britain as a member of a minority group. So I can only talk about that experience, which is only going to be my experience. But, you know, other people are going to have a different perspective on this. So I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying that in my experience, I'm right. So anyway, now that I've kind of had that disclaimer um it's kind of this attitude that if you don't conform to the dominant narrative um then your allegiance will be called into question and it must be because of you know your country of origin that you don't think like you know like for example have british values which are seen as the most progressive liberal values which are not necessarily true of sometimes they are but not in everything um and you know if you want to know more about my thoughts on that you can read this article that i wrote 
that I wrote, I'm not going to do like a racist belly dance, like that's just not happening today. Um, but you can see an article I wrote for Anton Allen's um, blog about um, why we demonize, demonize like uh, Middle Eastern or Muslim or Pakistani men um, so much for, you know, obviously a horrific crime, but we blame it on their culture and the way that they view women in their culture. So talking about like the Rotherham pedophile, uh, rings. Um, and yet we say nothing when we've got like all these hordes of men from like, you know, Britain and America and like, well, all sorts of countries really, but like also from our culture, um, as Western people going to Thailand and paying for like, you know, paying like a really small amount of money, like 10 quid to sleep with a child prostitute. And that's like something that we consider quite culturally acceptable. I mean, maybe we don't like, maybe people here in Britain wouldn't necessarily, would probably frown on that. But when I've lived in Thailand, for, I lived in Thailand for like two years and it's, you know, quite acceptable amongst the expat community over there to, you know, regularly sleep with prostitutes. Um, now, you know, some people would say there's nothing wrong with that. It's the oldest profession in the world. But like, you know, maybe it's because of my cultural identity that I, you know, find something very distasteful about that. Because when you look at the numbers of women who are trafficked, um, because there is so much demand for that ind industry and not enough supply. So they basically kidnap young girls and smuggle them. I mean, the human trafficking industry is like one of the biggest industries in the world. So, you know, I kind of have a problem with that. So that's an article that I wrote about that issue. Um, so what did I want to say? Okay, so y'all know if you've been watching my channel for a while and watched a few of my videos that I've been talking about, you know, race and racial identity, cultural identity, racism, uh, lack of diversity, lack of representation and white supremacy in a couple of my videos before. So I've been saying this for a while, but it seems like since Brexit happened, because um, basically you know, when Brexit happened, they, there's, there was no hiding that there was so much institutionalized racism in the system that it just broke out and like started becoming quite overt. So, you know, you've got all these like EDL and like Britain first people, um, just basically getting really emboldened to say certain things about different groups of people. So it's just like, okay, that really sounds like racism, but then again, I can also kind of see what they're saying. That's when people start getting bolder and bolder about what they're saying, not recognizing the racist programming that's in the media that is causing them to think that way. Like, I'm not going to get into massive specifics. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, then frankly, you just haven't done enough um, research on this topic to really understand what I'm talking about. So go and read some articles on institutional racism and then come back to this video after that. Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, um, yeah, like, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. My computer kind of had some problems last night and then I had to go to bed because I was working today. So just got back from work and now I've seen all over the news that there's been um, another terrorist attack in Nice, France. Um, although we weren't sure initially if it was a terrorist attack because we didn't know who the perpetrator was and what his motive was. Now we know he's a Muslim, we know that he it's definitely a terrorist attack because apparently in the world that we're living in, only Muslims can commit terrorist attacks. So, you know, to anybody who... Um, hasn't woken up to like the bullshit and the hypocrisy and the racism in the uh, mainstream media, you can just go and watch another video if you're still here. This video is only for um, woke folk um, who can see through all the fucking bullshit. Um, so yeah, we've got Theresa May who's come out, a completely unelected stupid bitch, um, who's come out and said that we stand by France and they're going to redouble their efforts in, in, in Syria and Iraq, even though the guy is not even Syrian or Iraqi or a member of ISIS. He's just completely, you know, lone, acting alone. Um, that's all we know so far, but they're definitely going to double the efforts in Syria and Iraq and kill even more innocent civilians um, just so that people who 
are Middle Eastern or brown or Muslim know not to fucking kill people. So we're just going to kill people to teach people that killing people is wrong. I mean, this is just... It just absolutely beggars belief. It's just, I'm so, like, I, I, you know, I've been saying this for a long time now, and it seems, I mean, I don't know if it's just people on my friend list because I've deleted so many stupid idiots and people have deleted me as well for the things that I post, um, but people seem to be quite awake to it now, but we've kind of reached the point where a lot of people don't realise how much power they really have. Um... I mean, these people who call themselves our leaders aren't really our leaders. They're just self-appointed. They have no authority except for the authority that they give themselves and they give each other and is given them given to them by the huge corporations for whose interests they work for. They don't work for us. They're not, you know, whether we elect them or not, um, you know, they don't work for us. It's not a democracy, guys. You know, anybody who in the wake of Brexit is talking about this is how democracy works. No, this is not a democracy. This is a plutocracy. Um, it's run by the rich and it's run by corporate interests. Um, so yeah, had a lot of um, a lot of world events happening at a very fast pace. Every day some new drama is happening. So this is also known as the quickening. Um, and for anybody who isn't aware of that term, it is caused by, caused by or coincides with um, an increase in the planet's Schumann resonance. The, plan the Schumann resonance is basically like the heartbeat, the pulse of the Earth. It's the Earth's vibrational frequency. Um, and for the last several thousand years, um, the planet's Schumann resonance has been beating at about 7.8 hertz. Um, and since the 1980s, it's been getting faster and faster and faster. So this is literally going to feel like time is speeding up. Um, and as it gets faster and faster, so our bodies actually have to start vibrating at a faster and faster frequency. Um, once you know, there are some scientists who even say that once the planet reaches, um, I think, what did they say, about 13 hertz, um, it will actually stop rotating and we will experience a polar shift. So apparently that is imminent. So um, to people out there who are looking for some answers and who aren't aware of this phenomenon, um, I recommend you... Uh, look that up because I'm going to do another video next week on um, on that and what we can all do to survive these um, very challenging times that we now find ourselves in as a species. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, turn into a little bit of a rant um, and I kind of went off in a direction that I wasn't planning on going into in this video, but um, that's kind of all I want to say on that for the time being um, and in the meantime guys just please you know question everything don't believe everything that any news channel or any media outlet says because it seems like everybody has an agenda right now um, if there's anything that is promoting division and hatred and separation probably you really need to question it so um, just keep vibrating high, people, and I will see you next week in the next video. I love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.